everybody, this is Nicole with Topaz. Thanks so much for joining me for Quick Tip Thursday. Today we are going to be talking about creating an oil painting effect from your images using Topaz Simplify and Topaz Detail. It's a very simple workflow, so we'll be able to go over several different types of imagery. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look at some before and after imagery, and um, then we will go into the workflow real quick. Now again, we're going to be... Uh, looking at not only a Topaz Simplify, which is really known for the digital art type of look um, out of all of our plugins, but also Topaz Detail. The reason we go into Topaz Detail is to really highlight the um, edges, because oil painting um, is, is more about, um, or not more about, but it has a lot of texture to it usually. It's not usually really smooth like a watercolor and it's just a little bit more texture so that helps um, achieve the look with Topaz Detail. So let's look at a few stuff. Here's the beginning image here and after going into Topaz Simplify and then taking it into Topaz Detail. So again here's after taking it into Simplify and then going in into detail and really uh, getting those edges to stand out a little bit. Now this is a pretty strong um, type of look, but uh, I have a before and after here for you. This is before, already processed image, taken into simplify and detail. I don't have a three-step process here. This is our before image, after simplify, and detail. And as I'm showing you this, I'll go ahead and just hop on into one more uh, before and after. Here's this before image, after simplify, and then detail. Let's go ahead and get on into the image. I want to see if I have any others that I just have to show you, and this is one of them that I have to show you. <laughs> Here's the before image. Not very exciting. After Topaz Simplify, the oil painting preset, and a little bit of a, a switch on the edges, and then taking it into detail and really getting those um, that texture to stand out and start to look like an oil painting. And it really does, if printed on canvas, can really really get a very realistic type of image. So let me get rid of the, the simplify and detail. We'll get back to our original image here. And let's go ahead and go on into Topaz Simplify first. Now one good thing to know about Topaz Simplify, especially if you're working with a larger image, you need to go ahead and go to one-to-one. -to -one. So you actually see what's happening to your image because the preview, when it's less than 100%, uh, is going to look different than it does at 100%, and 100% is going to tell you exactly what, um, what you're going to be seeing if you print this out at the same, at this size. So let me just say reset all. We have our original image here. Now, lucky us, we do have a painting oil preset, and that's one of my favorite painting presets in here. If you go to something like painting watercolor, it'll be really smoothed out. Um, if you go to painting colorful, you start to really get some crazy colors going on. I personally like the painting oil because it's a little more natural type of colors. That's because we're in our YCBCR color space as opposed to our RGB color space. And the settings on the simplify size and feature boost sliders are just perfect to start to get that oil painting effect. Now, if you find that you want to simplify your image just a little bit more and take out some more details, you can take that simplify slide slider up, but I feel like it starts to uh, take out a little too much detail. This image you could probably take out quite a bit and still be pretty good, but I like the settings. It's about 0.35 or 0.33, I believe. And then feature boost is the other really important slider for this oil painting preset. At 2.0, where it is right now, it gives just enough contrast and um, really, really highlights the features a little bit more. If you take that up, it's going to start going a little bit too much for um, the oil painting type of look. Again, this image has a lot of leeway because we have all this great color in this wheat field. So um, you can actually take that up quite a bit. But 
let's just go up a little bit. So 2.2. Actually, I'll take that up just for fun. Okay, so here's before, here's after. I'm pretty happy, and I'm just going to say okay. So those, I'm not even going to worry about anything else within this um, because I'm pretty happy with what I see. So let me, oops, I forgot to make a layer. I'm just going to say Control J and go up to Filter to Simplify 3, and it's just going to go ahead and apply the same settings that we just did. All right, now that I have um, the Simplify, I'm going to make another copy of that Simplify layer and go into Topaz Detail, and this is where it starts to get a lot of fun. Now, the first time I saw this, it was by one of our uh, Topaz experts. Um, he's actually the person you see at some of our shows, uh, Greg Rossami, but I like to take it a little bit further. But the thing that he showed us during one presentation was taking it in here. Let me press Reset All and going directly to this small details tab or small details slider not even worrying about the presets on the left and just taking that up quite a bit and immediately you start to see the edges start to pop out some texture starts to occur and that's what you're really looking for in this oil painting digital art um, simulation so here's before here's after so we got quite a bit going in there I'm going to take it up even more Again, here's before and after. Now I'm going to take my medium detail and large detail, and that's what I like to do on top of that small detail because I feel like it really starts to get the features within the image standing out without um, taking away from the painting look. So I'm just going to medium detail, large detail, and you start to see a little bit more depth come into the image, a little bit more texture. Again, here's before. This is um, after simplify and then after detail. Now this might be a little much for somebody but um, you get the idea that it brings a lot of texture, it starts to really enhance your edges which is what you're looking for in this type of um, oil painting simulation. Now I like detail as well because you can come in and change your tone so you can come in and, and mess around with your cyan red, your magenta green, your yellow blue and really do the finishing touches on these. And you can also go into your color tab and put a little more saturation if you're missing a little bit of color and saturation boost to really get that color going. So pretty easily we went from here to here and it's that simple with these two programs. I'm going to say OK, and we're going to go ahead and do another since we have the time, and um, then I'll take a couple questions and announce the winner of Topaz Simplify and Detail. But that's basically the quick tip, is both of the programs working together are going to be um, quite lovely. Now this is already a processed image. Here is the original image. This is after uh, applying cross-processing within Topaz Adjust. It's just a preset, and I loved the preset on here. But now I want to go in and see what happens when I um, go forward with the painting. So let's actually haven't even tried this image, so I'm excited to see it. Okay, again, you want to look at one-to-one -one when you have larger images. It will change the way things look. So here's before, here's after. I'm going to go ahead and just press the painting oil preset. Here we go. Before and after. You may start to notice within this preset some edges that happen, um, some larger lines. If you're not liking those particular lines, you can do one of two things. You can just look at the base and get rid of the edges and process it without your edges whatsoever, which I think I might do for this particular image. Here's the combined. And this is just the edges, so you can see exactly where the edges are occurring. Or you can come down to your Edges tab and just change uh, the type of edge that you're looking at. Maybe you want to do Color Line Fine and it'll go a little bit less and you'll have a much thinner line. I think I'm just going to process just my base image and say OK and I'm going to be pretty excited about this. Okay, now it might not look like anything happened, but as you go back to 
you'll see it does have that painting texture on there. And again, this is all about what size you're going to be printing or uh, looking at your image in the end. You kind of want to resize before you go into simplify because you will, um, again, need to be looking at it 100% to really see what it's going to do. Let's do one last thing, go into detail and see if we can work with this a little. Okay, this is the same adjustments that we put on there to, on our previous image. I'm going to say reset all and work with this one a little bit differently. Take my detail, small detail up, medium detail, and large detail. Yeah, that large detail is really nice for this image. Here's before, here's after. I'm not really going to mess with the color because I really enjoyed the color that I already have going on here, which I did in Topaz Adjust. Here's before, here's after, and I'm happy. So it's as simple as that, simple workflow. I'm going to turn it over to you guys for questions. Uh, Glenn has a great question. He said, why would Simplify and Details be a separate program? Do each have a good purpose on their own? Absolutely. Uh, Simplify is much more of a program for digital arts, and uh, it's based on a size-based technology. So let's get rid of these two layers. So what it is, that Simplify slider that you see, and that's really the most important slider within the program, what it does is it takes out details. Okay, so it actually removes details from your image. So if I take my simplify, if I were to say reset all, everything goes back down to zero. And I just want you to see as I take my simplify size up, you'll see details starting to be removed from the image. And that's how you're able to start to create these digital cartoon uh, or digital art type of looks. Now, at certain settings, you can get this oil painting look. So it was about 0.35 and about 2 for that feature boost to start putting in a little bit of extra oomph. Now, my color space is RGB right now. If I take it to YCBCR, it's going to be a much more natural color space. And I'm just going to come over to my preset and do painting oil, and it'll give me a little color boost, too. I also have that line going on here that I'm not particularly enjoying, so I'm just going to process my base. That'll be fine. So, Glenn, this is what Simplify, it, it, the technology behind Simplify is. And... Um, you can create all sorts of things. This is just one of the things that we're looking at today. We actually have a Simplify, Intro to Simplify webinar if you're interested on our YouTube channel. Now that I have this, I'll make a copy and go into Detail. And what Detail, its technology, is based on analyzing the different de size details in your image, and then it enhances those details and really works on these six sizes of detail. So it's almost like they're opposite programs. Simplify is taking out the details. Detail is actually enhancing those details and really affecting those on a size, in a size-based way as well, but completely different way. <laughs> so now if I take my small detail up, it's only affecting my small detail in the image, and it's not affecting my medium detail or my large detail, or the small boost, medium boost, or large boost. So you're able to come in here and really work with the detail in a very exact manner. Now most people do not use detail in this way, Glenn. They actually use it for an output or creative sharpening on their imagery. So this is just kind of a tip and technique that I like to do for this oil painting technique. So putting a couple programs together every once in a while can really um, have some good results if you play around with it. So here we are able to quickly go into detail and go from our simplify to our detailed. Say OK. I love this um, image. So here's the original into those two programs that quickly we were able to create this. Uh, Rick says, when you switched to YCBCR, did you change the Photoshop color space? Great question. No, I do not change the color space within um, within Photoshop. Only within the program as I'm working in it and then as I come back into we can take this one in there let's, okay let's take this image in 
simplify and I'll show you kind of what he's talking about. Reset all. I'm just going to go to painting oil. And with this particular preset, it is the YCBCR, which is just going to give you a more natural type of colors that were naturally in the original image. If you were in your RGB, which a lot of our other ones are, you'll start to see little splotches of color, more vibrant usually than this, but you can definitely start to see it whenever you go to painting colorful, definitely some RGB stuff going on there, um, more harsh color. So you can really play around with the color more so when you're in the RGB space, but I like the more natural color space, especially for the oil painting, and that is the YCBCR. And when you go back into Photoshop, your image will return to its um, RGB or f uh, Pro Photo RGB, or whatever your color space was when you brought it into Simplify. So it does not change it. Uh, Philip says, what was the base versus combined again? Let me go back and take this image in there. Simplify is a way, an awesome way, not only does it, you know, take details out of your image if you want to just smooth something out, but it also creates all different types of, of digital art, such as sketching and wood carving. And the way that it does that is it works on not only um, the the base of your image, the colors and stuff like that, but it works on your edges too. So like if a cartoon, you'll notice you have all of these edges. Now if you go over to your mode at this point, the combined is your edges with the base color. If you want to just look at the base color, you can just look at the base color. If you want to just look at your edges and create a drawing, you can do that here. So it's really, um, and you can process this back to Photoshop or whatever your host program is, like what you're seeing here. You just say OK when you're in your edges mode. So for example, we're in our painting oil again, looking at our base looking at our edges. If we want to increase those edges, we can come and work on those specifically without having to be distracted by the base colors. So I can say, maybe I want my um, color line to actually be a mono black line, and we'll do a mono edge. Maybe I want to bring in some smaller ones and get a lot of get a lot of edges in there. This is going to be a little much different. <laughs> and now when we go back to our combined, you'll see all of those edges and how that affected um, the image. So those are the differences between the two. Arthur said, what is it you refer to as small or large detail? Um, Arthur, within Topaz Detail, the main technology behind it is that it breaks down your image into six different sizes of detail. So when you first open up detail, you'll see this pop-up processing window, and that's what it's doing. It's just breaking your image down into different sizes of detail. Now, um, small detail is usually going to be no, no larger than two to three pixels at the very most. Uh, your small boost is going to be even smaller than that one pixel. Your medium detail is going to be anywhere from, you know, three to six pixels, and you'll start to really affect some edges within this. Your medium boost will be a little bit smaller than that. Your large detail will be around 10 to 15, and you'll really start to see a lot of shadow uh, detail and, and a lot of contrast uh, come through with this large detail. Your large boost will be just a little bit smaller. So there's six sizes of detail, and so when you just change your small detail and bring that up. It's not changing your large detail at all. So here's my small detail. Now if I come down here and change my large detail, you can see my large detail is much more about the shadow and highlight differences, those edges, more so than the tiny texturized detail that small and small boost is going to have. So that small boost gives you even more texture, even more kind of crazy. Um, that small boost is kind of crazy, just beware. <laughs> um, I, I tend not to use it very often, um, but the small detail is great, and especially for this technique, to to get out that, those textures that you might be looking for whenever you're trying to get this oil painting effect.
Uh, Richard says, why don't you use the boost sliders in detail? I do when I'm working with an, a photograph. I just find that I don't really need to with, you can work with them if you want to. The small boost I tend not to go into very much when I'm working with this technique. The medium boost you can definitely bring out a little bit more shadow and, and um, large boost as well. You can really start to get that contrast going. But it's just up to you if you want to work with them. I find that I can quickly come into here, use my small detail at about halfway up, medium, large at about a third of the way up, and I'm pretty happy usually. So I'm all about going quickly. <laughs> but you can definitely go in there and, and create exactly what you're looking for. Oh, here we go. Martha says, would you try more saturation on this so I can see the effect? Sure. Not a problem, Martha. Um, and for, I feel like the saturation boost in detail is a little bit more strong than the saturation boost, say, in adjust. So, and, and I, I, you know, I'm, that just might just be me, and that might just be this particular, when working with this effect, I notice it. But just going up a little bit with that saturation boost will really bring out those colors. Um, part of the oil painting preset within Simplify will desaturate part of your image. It kind of mutes the colors a little bit. So you can work with the color in Simplify or in here, either one, and bring some of that back. And um, this again is the Simplify version and this is the detail version. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining me for Quick Tip Thursday. We went a little bit extended, but I hope uh, you are inspired to create some digital paintings. And I hope to see you soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.